Hello everyone. It has been over two weeks, about two and a half weeks since I've last flown and I am starting to lose my ever loving So luckily for me, my other activity that I absolutely love to do is mountain biking. Of course, that is the whole reason for this channel, isn't it? And as you can see behind me, it is so nice and green out. It is sunny out. There is no way that I'm gonna be wasting this day. This here is Great Seal State Park. I've only ever been here twice before. First time I came out here was with a buddy of mine. He and I ended up accidentally taking the horse route and came out here a second time, found some people on a mountain bike and they're like, why are you in this section? They uh, guided me to the proper area and oh my goodness, this place is amazing. Partway through, you are gonna see a wardrobe change. I'm gonna head up behind me, hit the warm up, got the half shell. And then for later on when things get real intense, brought the full face. Some of these trails do scare me and I am riding by myself. So let's go see how much damage I can do. Alunzi. One thing I really wanna say about this trail that I absolutely love, I mean, yeah, you gotta climb to descend, but most trails do a bunch of switchbacks, make it really long, and then it's, it's still really steep. And some of them, it feels like the trail just ends way too quickly. This trail that I'm going on, though, yeah, it's still pretty uh, quick on the downhill section. For how much climbing you have to do, it's really not that bad. They really made this trail fun to do laps on. I definitely came out riding a little too early after the rain. It is really sloppy. I've already dropped the pressure in my tires by a lot. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I don't know how I always forget this, but I do, so here we go. Strava! Let the downhill begin. My butt is soap. Trying to manual and hop through all the slots is not exactly working. And this little drop right here, you definitely want to stay in the middle. If you go right, there's a tree. If you go left, there's a rock. Oh, I love that. This drop for my opening sequence. It's such an easy drop and it's so smooth. Of course, you know, I'm all hit it again. Little slick. Oh. <laughs> oh, off camber, off camber. Mud to the right, berm to the left. Avoid the tree. And then we get into spot. Now I'm heading up grass. I'm heading up Grass Rock Trail right now. It's a lot longer of a climb, a bit more fun of a descent. What I'm doing is I'm heading over to Rock Garden Trail. So I have the full face on right now. Hello. Whew. Nice. Never been on that part before. This trail doesn't really require a full face, especially heading up. I'm sure anyone locally is going to think I look like an idiot. Yeah, I kind of do. It's got a bunch of rock drops. And last time that I rode it, I was doing it kind of blind. And there was this one drop that I hit. I hit the drop fine. But as soon as I landed, I kind of got bounced off. Went right into another rock. And had I not been wearing elbow pads, I can almost guarantee you it would have been a break. All that in mind, how big the drops are, my skill level, my comfort level. I just want to wear the full face just to be safe. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I really love flow. It just feels good. I like flow. No, 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 no. Kill the music. This here is called Rock Garden Loop. By the definition of it, it is not very flowy. This is a good place to practice tech. So even though I've only ever been here uh, one other time, I could say with certainty, this is my favorite section of Great Seal. Right here on the rock garden, 
lots of different line choices. Got this huge roller right here. Come through all this chunk and roll out through there. Coming right over here and come through here. Sharp right turn. Come over this and huge drop again into there. If you're a newbie, still a little bit of chunk, some places to practice. Come all the way around here. Take the nice easy route through. And if you're like me, you like drops, but you don't like getting hurt. So this is definitely my favorite part of this section. Huge drop right in here, sharp left turn. However, it does get a little muddy. And how I was saying that I almost broke an elbow was actually right on this rock. I came off the drop, off camber left turn, uh, slid out, smacked right there. So you know what, I'm, I'm done talking on it. I'm gonna set up some cameras. I'm gonna go ahead and session a few of these. There's also this beginner line that I like to show you, just because, you know, for people who haven't quite built up a skill yet, it's not a bad way to go. Believe it or not, this is the first time I've hit it. It's not that bad. A lot of straight line choices. Well, now for the part that I really like. Got the cameras all set up, just to show you this one drop over here on uh, Rock Garden Loop. It's a good drop. I think it's about maybe four and a half from drop till uh, touchdown. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give that another try. I mean, yeah, the drop was fine. Feels great, but that uh, off camber turn gets me just cause like I said, I almost broke my elbow on it the last time I was here. Still can't make that turn. You know what? The fact that I came back out here, this seems like a good victory for me. After a little breather and some smooth riding time to recover from that little playground, there's another drop on the rock garden loop. There are still a few more features along the way, but you know me, I'm here for the big stuff. All right, this right here, right behind me, don't know the name of this drop. If you guys know the name of it, leave a comment. Let me know, that way other people know as well. But this is what I'm pretty sure is the Ohio equivalent of the Typhoon drop out at Big Creek. Link to that video is gonna be right here. Uh, first time I saw it, I mean, I just thought to myself, hey, if I hit Big Creek, this should be easy. I mean, it's about a six and a half foot drop from you know where we leave to where I uh, touch down. But even though I did this once before, it's still a little daunting. But guess what? That's still not the biggest drop here, or the scariest. That there is right off a of rock garden. It is a fun drop to hit. Scary as heck, but I love it. What I have found, which may just be the biggest drop in Great Seal, is on the other side of this monstrosity of a rock. So this is the drop. I'm definitely thinking about it. Now this here seems like it might just be the biggest drop. This dude right here, my uh, helpful volunteer, says he's about 6'2", and I'm at the uh, I'm at the top of this. Now right now I'm actually walking down the landing. There isn't much of a turnoff or any turnoff. It looks like it might just go right over there. What I'm really nervous about is I want to know if I have not only a room but traction to stop. Just look at how steep that is. That's just stupid. Even the landing rollout looked a bit sketchy, so I gave it a quick ride to see if I'd even be able to stop. I can. 
But here's one last view from off to the side. Come over here, you jump off, gap the trail, land there. I don't even know why I'm considering it. <laughs> That's gonna be quick. No, just no. This drop is way too big for me for right now, at least without seeing anyone do it. I just don't think it's a good idea. But it also brings up a different point that pretty much every mountain biker with a YouTube channel has said, the hospitals are a little busy right now. Why burden them with my stupidity? So instead, I put the goggles on and headed down the nice relaxing single track of Annie's Trail. This trail is a fun supercross trail by the name of Lick Run. If you want to get comfortable with speed, this is the trail to do it on. If you are going to ride this trail, remember horses are allowed on it too. Oh, sh That was some horse And of course, ended at the bottom where all the rainwater has accumulated into a giant mud pit. <laughs> That's right, I'm not done yet. I noticed another trail off to the side called Trail 4. It's not on any map. Uh, apparently it was built last year. It's on Strava, so I walked up it and it looks freaking epic. Time to throw the goggles on. <laughs> Send her breath. <laughs> me, that was lame. Okay, that hurt, and ruined my Strava time. I'd already been riding for more than what I was planning, so I rode the berm again and finished up my day. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Once this corona thing is all over, I'll be looking for more places to ride. So leave a comment and tell me about your trails. Maybe I'll fly out and ride with you. Stay safe, make hygienic choices, and as always, whether you're working or playing, keep flying.